Adolfo here, uh, leader of Team BC uh, with EXP Realty here in Los Angeles. And this is episode number 10 of Work in Progress. Okay, today <laughs> I have a very special guest, Mr. Mike Cho. Is that how you pronounce it, Mike? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine either way. Ciao, or Cho. <laughs> Mike Cho, uh, he's actually in the top 100 real estate agents in the US. I don't know if you knew that, Mike, but I got an email saying that. Put your name on it. <laughs> I, I, I did not know, but I, I get a bunch of those emails, you know, here and there. But you know, we just, we just go in day in day out and do our job. Exactly, you know? that, that's great. <laughs> no, so I have Mike here. Um, actually, I met Mike a few years back. We haven't been in touch, but I reached uh, to Mike again, and this is why, Mike. I saw you have listings all over the place. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah, my office here in Diamond Bar, for any of you guys that are familiar with LA, and Mike has listings all over the place around here. So uh, it's a beautiful um, area. <laughs> it is, it is. So I decided to reach out to Mike, and we're going to talk about uh, mainly his experiences, right, Mike? Just to give you a quick uh, background here, the my podcast is called Work in Progress because yeah. we're always working towards something better, right? We want to yeah. better our health. We want to be better with our communication, uh, our career, our relationships, mm -hmm. whatever his name, if we're always looking to become better, right? So the reason of this podcast is to bring people over who have some success like yourself, right? And tell us a little bit more about your story, your struggles, and uh, telling us how you go to where you are. Yeah, like, no, that, yeah, that's not, you know, this is, um, it's an easy one for me because, you know, I've, I've, um, uh, I've said this so many times <laughs> and, um, but, uh, you know, and, and, uh, it's not nothing, not, you know, there's no like crazy struggle, but, uh, there was a time back in 2007, uh, I started, uh, financing. I, I kind of joined a couple of my friends into mortgages and I was actually working at lending tree loans. Oh, this is where you started. Yeah, lending tree loans. Uh, I was at the call center, and <laughs> so that was uh, wow. I think I was like twenty, I don't know, twenty-two or something, uh, twenty-one or twenty-two. And um, uh, you know, lending tree loans is funny because there was there's like six or seven or eight buildings, and there's a small call center, and then every all the other ones are like the loan department. So I was like, wow, you know, everybody drove fancy cars, and I was like, man, I gotta get myself you know, into that group right there. Right. Right. Um, but, you know, 2007 came along and, and, uh, you know, the market, you know, just kind of tanked from there. And, uh, eventually I, I, uh, you know, I, I worked my way to, to start doing some loans. I was a junior loan officer, uh, and just, you know, I was, <laughs> I joined, a. um, uh, you know, there was a lot of people when I, when I first started doing loans and then one by one, everybody just kind of fell out, you know, just kind of fell out because, you know, the, the mortgage industry was changing, the real estate industry was changing. And it was kind of scary because, you know, there was, it was just me in the office. I was calling the white pages and wow. <laughs> people, <laughs> people give me their social to, you know, like they were, they were like desperate to, you know, refinance or to get out of the situation that they're in. Uh, and uh, so I, I got a, I got a lot of apps, you know, I was getting a lot of apps and, but, you know, very few went through, I think in the two years I did, I probably did like four deals, <laughs> four transactions. Wow. It was, a, it was, so at that time, you know, it was a struggle. Um, but, you know, I, and a lot of, a lot of friends and families, uh, you know, they, they, they asked me, you know, they, they're kind of, uh, you know, very stubborn. And so they're, they're very careful with what they say, but you know, some of them were pretty straightforward. They're like, why don't you just get a nine to five or why don't you just get a job? And for me, I just felt like, you know what, I, I put so much time and effort. I'm going to make it no matter what. So <laughs> I, I, uh, two years later, uh, it was, uh, this, it was December, um, 2008 got my real estate license, closed my first deal, uh, and did 35 deals that year. And wow. I was just, I was just blown away because it was a complete 360 for me. I was like, wow, like if I, you know, I, I didn't look back at that time because I was trying to figure out how, how I was going to get my next deal. And, um, uh, so that was, a, that was a struggle back, back then. But then when I look back now, I was like, wow, I'm so thankful because 
if I had left the industry or if I had, you know, done something else, I would have never, you know, had an opportunity to really explode. Uh, uh, not, I, you know, I wouldn't say like it was like super explosive, but at least, you know, it was a complete 360 for me from four deals, you know, to 35 deals. <laughs> it was a big difference. Uh, and I was I was nervous, um, but I was I was very excited. I was happy, you know, all the emotions um, uh, and yeah, it was it was fantastic. You know, I'm really glad that I stayed in the business, uh, and that's what I tell a lot of people right now is that uh, don't you know you're planting the seed right now. Um, don't just give up in the middle, you know, and don't give up when you're so close to you know maybe succeeding, just like you know just like I did. Right. And so, you know, I, I preach that a lot because I look back at my career and and that's exactly what happened. Wow. Um, <laughs> well, that's so, impressive, Mike. So you come from the loan side. So not a lot of people can say they do that. And I, have yeah. no, I mean, I still learning how loans work. You know, my, my lender takes care of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I'm glad that like, you know, you know how it works. Um, a little bit. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. So you went from four deals to 35 well four deals in two years right so technically yeah. two deals yeah. per year two deals per year <laughs> <laughs> to 35 deals that was crazy first year as a realtor so that was, that, that was a big jump so how do you see or how what happened during the first year uh no because mm -hmm. I, I know a lot of uh, new realtors are gonna watch this so yeah. if you can give one tip of how you were able to get those 35 deals what would that be uh bill yeah uh, uh, the the first year all you know no advertisement no cold calling. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't do those things. You, you should if you have a skill for it or if you're you're trying to master that. But uh, relationship building, you know, um, there's there's yes, there's tens of thousands of realtors out there uh, in San Gabriel Valley, and uh, but there's several million uh, homeowners uh, in San Gabriel Valley as well too. So there's not there's so there's enough business for everybody to go around. Um, you don't have to be afraid that there isn't. You just have to plant the seed. Not uh, people change agents for different reasons, uh, and I think the number one reason is because we don't follow up. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> yeah, you know that's that's the biggest that's the biggest issue um, for my business. I think is is the challenge is to follow up and keep that relationship you know really really strong. Uh, even uh, because uh, if they buy a house, they may not sell for five or six or seven years. Uh, sometimes they'll sell right away, um, but typically on average, I think people live in their homes seven to 10 years. That's so right. uh, I can't wait for someone to, uh, but I don't. Also, I also don't want to miss out, you know, when they're ready to sell or, uh, so anyway, you know, I think that's the tip, you know, that the number one thing is is just, Plant your seed. Uh, make sure you know you stick with it. Uh, don't just quit in the middle. Uh, and also, uh, you know, just build a relationship with with uh, wealth managers, with people that are going to constantly give you business back. And that's how I went from like uh, you know zero deals to thirty five deals uh, a year is because uh, I have a lot of uh, clients, uh, repeat clients, and a lot of them own you know, buy or own several homes or multiple homes, uh, and they constantly buy and sell homes throughout the year. So I would always have consistent business from those people uh, and super, super grateful for them. Um, just like with like the developers and uh, similar. Uh, so you want to find those people that are going to constantly give you deals back. Uh, and when I started, you know, it's a different time than now, um, but real estate is real estate. When I started, there was a lot of trustee auctions. There was a lot of short sales. There was a lot of foreclosures. So yes, whatever, whatever you you know, everybody's going through right now, submitting thirty offers, you know, like yeah. getting, getting outbidded. You know, it was just, it was the same thing that we that we went through. Uh, it was a challenge, and you know, of course, maybe I could have sold more, but because of a lot of setbacks, a lot of you know, uh, rejections, you know, in our offers, uh, that happens, you know, and. Um, but um, but at that time, I met a lot of investors. I met a lot of a uh, lot of people that just love to buy and sell real estate, um, uh, just you know, as investment, as as you know, they um, everybody has their thing. So you know, <laughs> yeah, of course. And so okay. yeah, so so that's that's my you know, I mean, there's several tips there, but you know, I would say you know, you don't have to spend money. 
uh, in the beginning, you know, try to cut your costs, you know, try to cut your costs down and uh, uh, just build that relationship with people. You never know. Uh, you know, some people just when I started, you know, I, I know uh, the number one thing is, oh, yeah, uh, I think the number one uh, negative uh, thought from real estate agents is that uh, people think I'm too young uh, because, okay. you know, I think realtors are starting a little younger now. Uh, so the age group is a little bit younger, um, whereas before the average, you know, realtor was, you know, 40 or 40 plus or 50. Now, you know, the people coming in, they're all like 20, 21, you know, 25. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're very young. young faces. Yeah, young faces, which is great. I wish I started younger. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, so just just that. So, yeah, and there, there's a lot of stuff and I'm I'm always super open to uh, to helping people. You know, you can message me. You can you can WeChat me. You can message me on iMessage. I'm always willing to help. Great, Mike. Thank. You. I appreciate that. So you know, so I know I lo I've heard about this from other people. You now building relationships, and sometimes you know, I'm I mean I've been in the business for less than two years, right? A year yeah. and a half maybe. And a lot of people say. Yeah, build relationships, but some people are desperate for the money because you know maybe you don't have anything in the bank and you need that now deal, right? right so right. You, a lot of times you're calling, 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 and going for the now deal that you forget about the, uh, about building relationships. So it came to a point to me that I had to, you know, see that, and now I'm building relationships a little bit more. Though so, uh, deals, you know, you know how the status of the market right now is my inventory slow. A lot of buyers out there, you know, ideally we all want to be listing agents, but that's not the case, right? It's things are going to happen. So, uh, wait, I think I lost my train of, train of thought right there. No, it's okay. It happens to me all the time. So, yeah, so <laughs> building relationships with uh, homeowners, right? You said, I mean, we're in San, in San Gabriel Valley, so we're not that far from each other. Um, what was, how did you start doing that? Uh, do you just reach, reach out to the people that you knew and you were from there? You, uh, how do you, because I mean, I, I was, I'm not from LA. I wasn't born and raised here. So yeah. for me, it was a little different because I had no sphere of influence. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying that's impossible, but I know I get myself out there and start talking to people. That's no big deal. Yeah. But in your case, how did it go? Uh, so when, when I think back, um, you know, there was a lady that it was my mom's friend and uh, she's the one that referred me to my first client. And it was, oh, wow. a, it was a new home build. I didn't, I just went there one time and, you know, they signed and I was like, oh, great. Okay. So what do I do next? <laughs> it was fantastic. I was like, I love these <laughs> brand new homes. Right. And do you think like, oh, all of people are going to call me to sign. Oh, that's amazing. Right. <laughs> oh, and then she was, uh, uh, she was just, she was, just, she was just one of those people that was very passionate. Um, and she was, um, uh, you know, she, she just wanted to help uh she, you know, I, I reminded her of uh, her son and so it was kind of wow. like that kind of relationship so she just kind of just helped boost me up uh eventually she moved back to taiwan which is unfortunate but you know that's okay we you know <laughs> our, i think our her and my mom still keep in touch but uh that's how i that's how uh, i i started um wow. you know that's how i started getting a few clients and then from there i just you know every like like this, I think the average uh, per client that, you know, I mean, when you close a transaction or when you're working with someone, buyer or seller, uh, you know, you should at least get one or two clients uh, per, you know, closing. I didn't, I didn't know the statistics, you know, back then. I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize that I was just, I was just trying to see how it's going to get the next deal. But I think that's how I ended up with 35 because everybody wow. referred me someone else. Uh, and some of them refer me a lot of people, you know, just like this lady, she referred me like four or five people, uh, maybe a few of them close. Uh, and then this uh, person from church who was very influential in church. I never, uh, you know, I'm not a church goer, so I never attended, but he was very influential when he purchased nine other people followed him. Wow. And I think seven or eight of them purchased <laughs> that year. Wow. So it was just like, because they trust them so much, they were like, okay, well, I'll just, you know, if you bought here, then it sounds like a good investment. I'm going to buy here as well, too. Wow. Uh, so, which is, which is fantastic. So that's, um, you know, that's above average, but then, you know, there are some that didn't refer me any, there are some that refer me one or two. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just the name of the game, you know, just building that relationship and making sure you, you solidify and, 
and um, uh, a lot of times you become you know friends or family you know with with these people and so they they really trust you for for long term investment um, you know buying homes homes for their kids so real estate is is I mean there's it's never ending because if you if you really think about it that way like they're you know they bought a home and then their kids are going to buy a home and then they're going to sell a home and then they're going to sell a home and they're going to buy multiple homes they're going to buy rental properties uh, they might trade up to three or four you know or ten million dollar homes <laughs> you know and, yeah you never know that's and, right so so I, I started to understand that and and uh my second year you know my mindset was like okay i'm still i was still thinking how how am i going to get that next deal or how am i going to get that next transaction and um, I once I realized that point, I it just I kind of squashed that, and I was like, I'm always going to have business. That's just you know, like I don't have to worry about where my next deal was going to come from. Um, but I, I've been very fortunate throughout my career. Um, you know, met a lot of good people, uh, such as yourself um, and the partners that I am with. You know, Keller Williams. Uh, I, I've been very fortunate to be be a partner of that. We have our own management company. Um, we I have my own team. Um, so it, you know, it's just uh, you know, KW has really opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. Whereas when I was when I was just starting out, all I knew was just closing that next transaction. So it was <laughs> complete different, you know, complete different like playing field now. You know, my my eyes are definitely open. You know, and I, I could see a lot more and, and better perspective. That's great, Mike. You know, I really appreciate <laughs> telling us that story. And you now I can relate. You know, my first deal came from my dad. Right, he referred me to someone who ended up buying a house, and that boosted yeah. my confidence because I went like three, four months yeah. uh, as a new realtor, putting in the work, but not knowing what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, that one buyer came in. I closed the deal after 30 days. I'm like, oh wow, this is what it feels like. Even though the first deal was a nightmare. Yeah. It was a nightmare. Like, oh, yeah. like my first deal was a nightmare too. Twelve different things came out. <laughs> <laughs> but you now with that being said, actually I learned a lot from that deal that you know I was part of a small team then that after two deals I learned so much that I ended up leaving the team because I wanted to do things on my own. Yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. But, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So I kind of uh, outgrew the team if you put it that way. I just wanted to learn, do things on my own, like kind of just, you know, go do my own path, right? Um, so you know, from where you started, the uh, how it took for you to get some deals. Now you have your own team, right? And uh, people working with you in that team. Um, what what where do you see yourself and your team in the next five ten years? Uh, you know, our our goal is always to strive to. Uh, become better uh, for, uh, you know, in terms of ourselves, uh, not like competing with other other teams or, you know, I think that I I grew up like very competitive. So I always wanted to be the, be the number one. Um, uh, I always wanted to like, you know, playing sports, always wanted to win. You know, I think everybody yeah, wants to win, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, Growing up with the Lakers, it was easy because we're always winning. <laughs> A oh, huge Laker fan, um, but so uh, uh, you know, I, I think I just always had that mentality. So coming into real estate, it was it was the same thing. You know, uh, even though I, I closed like four deals in two years, I was still in the office by myself. I mean, two thousand, three thousand square foot office, no one there. It was just me, like with the with the with the white pages. I was just calling people. Uh, so I I don't mind that, you know, because I I always just. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm very stubborn. I, always, you know, if I stick, if I, if I'm doing something, then I'm going to stick to it, and I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to try to make it work some way, somehow. Um, and uh, uh, it just, you know, it, it really, um, uh, yeah. Sorry, lost, lost my train of thought too. But no worries, no worries. <laughs> no, yeah, so yeah, you just wanted so pretty much. You want to, uh, you want to make sure you and your team yeah. keep growing, right? And you don't want to go. Uh, compete yeah. with other people you want to become yeah get better, better yourself. For, for yourself yeah and i see you know i, I fortunately you know I've, I've come across not directly but you know through stories from so much competition that people st start like hating each other here in real estate and <laughs> I'm for, that's horrible because 
you know, I went through a bad experience. I don't want to put names, but yeah. you know, if that person comes back, it comes across, let's say you're the listing agent or you're the buyer, you're the one who has the best buyer out there. How are you going to put a deal together for your clients who you're supposed to have a fiduciary duty for to, um, if you can even talk to each other, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that's, that's horrible. And I don't want to be in that position. So I'm trying to keep a good relationship with every single one that I meet, every single person. And, and, and I think, uh, sorry, though, yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't think about that. You know, they, they have these, uh, you know, like you said, you know, they're, they're not very uh, responsive or they, they don't get back to you quickly, you know, mm -hmm. or they, um, or they they have this attitude, you know, and I get it, you know, people have rough days, you know, they have long days. So I, I completely understand that, you know, and personal life gets, gets in the way, you know, and yeah. that um, so I, I completely understand that, but I always, I think the one, uh, one thing that has really, uh, people have said about me was, you know, I'm very calm and very patient. And I, I tend to, you know, like I said, I'm stubborn. So I keep on, I keep on pushing that same agenda mm -hmm. over and over again, but in a very patient way. <laughs> no, I, I can relate to that. I can relate to that. I'm usually more like on the mellow side. Yeah. Unless yeah. I really have to be up here. Yeah. Um, of course, you know, different experiences, but yeah, I can relate to that. I can see how like, I'm calm, yeah. even though sometimes uh, it's just, I'm being myself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think you, you just, you have to be, you know, just be yourself. Um, just trust that, you know, whatever you've been given or whatever you've been taught is, you know, that's going to persevere uh, in the business. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I guess that's, that's something that, you know, I don't, I haven't really, you know, just psychologically uh, with, with different people and how they, you know, like, if you want to be, if you want to practice real estate in a, in a very, um, bad, you know, demeanor, uh, you'll probably do well, you know, that's, you know, that, uh, you know, you, you work with those type of people, right. But I choose to work with, you know, like, uh, like-minded people, people that, um, you know, I, I get along with, you know, very well. And right now I'm, you know, I'm very fortunate to be in a position where, you know, a lot of past clients or a lot of people that I work with right now are people that I choose to work with. You know, I don't have to work with people that I don't want to, and it, you know, it's less stress, um, but uh, equal, same amount of transactions. Doesn't it, just because you're giving up one transaction here, doesn't mean that you're you're not making it up, you know, two or three times on the other side with people that you actually want to work with, you know, and that and that's what it's, you know, the the journey um, from <clears throat> when I first started till now. I think that's what it was. That's what it was all about. You know, trying to find, um, uh, trying to find myself, trying to be a better version of myself, uh, and then I can, and then, you know. But in the beginning, it was always competition. I always wanted to be the best, but then now it's just trying to find a better version of myself before I can even go out there and compete because I know I'm not even close to you know whatever that, what the top agents are in the you know in 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 our business. You know, I'm not even close. You know, I mean, number one and number ten and number fifty are way <laughs> far apart from each other, right? Of course. And so, which is great because I I have something to keep strive, you know, keep you know, like striving for. You know, I don't uh, I don't want to be the top of my business, or else, what's you know, what's 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 next? Right? There always has to be that. Um, uh, you know, I guess that's just part of you know me. Not everybody's like that. Uh, people are very comfortable making, uh, you know, a set amount every single year. Uh, it provides for their family and they can still, but, you know, that's, that's secondary to me, you know, sec, you know, um, I mean, providing for your family is always your primary goal, but uh, secondary in the fact that money is not the main goal. It's the goal is to, you know, like I said, become a better version you know, like Kobe making those jump shots, you know, like taking, you know, may, trying to practice the same jump shots over and over again. Mm -hmm. The same thing that, you know, I'm trying to do here is trying to, trying to perfect that part before I can get to that next, that next level. Um, or work on myself first, I guess, before I can. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Mike. So, you know, be, become a better version of yourself all the time. That's what I want to do, right? Uh, so many experiences that I had, um, you know, I, I'm actually talking about what you said 
someone being, you know, having a nine to five and making a set amount of money. Um, I've been there, right? I was there three, maybe three years ago, right? Yeah. But it came to a point that I got tired of it. Not necessarily because of the money, because I was making decent money for, compared to what I was making before. And yeah. as you just mentioned, not, it's not everything about the money. Right. Um, I was just like, That's, this is it for me. I need to leave. I went from making, what, maybe I think 90,000 a year to making zero because I quit. But that's when I'm, like, I started like struggling more. And then that's when I, I saw that I actually, I like the struggle. Like the struggle yeah. pushes you to, to yeah. learn. It pushes you to like, I guess, find creative ways or trying to figure out about what's next. Just yeah. like, you know, with the deals, like, oh, well, what's my next deal? Like, you yeah. gotta get creative, right? You can find the clients, you gotta get creative to find the clients. That's the fun part. You know, I, I, I love, I, um, you know, though, I think we have very similar, uh, personalities. It, you know, that's exactly it. It was, it was fun for me. It was fun to, you know, try to, um, uh, you know, I stayed in the office till like 1 a.m. Uh, before with my partners and we're strategizing how to buy the next property at the, at the auctions. Uh, when we had trustee auctions back then, I think that we have them now, but they're very few and not, not too many properties. Uh, so it doesn't make sense for us to go out there now, but before it was like, you know, there's so many properties, right. But it was, it was fun. Like just being the office and, and, uh, uh, just, uh, you know, it was the, uh, yeah, it was, it was just, it was just different. You know, I can't describe the feeling, but I just, I loved like, and you could see the growth, you know, I'm, I'm growing every single year, whether it's personal or business, um, I'm growing every single year. And that was the fun part for me. You know, so, you know, I, you, I, really got, I really got sucked into that. You know, the, I, I got sucked into the game. Of, <laughs> of and, so you would say that you, you have fun being productive? Is that what you Yeah, well, I'm a, I'm a student. I'm a student of the business. That's for sure. I'm a student. And De definitely. Just, yeah, Mike, that, that's, that's like, I guess when, I guess when everything is 100% beautiful and comfortable, I'm actually a little uncomfortable. Yeah, that doesn't, doesn't seem like, right. I'm like, so, I'm like, okay, well, something is it's too good to be true. Like, uh, let me change something up. Like, no, I have a good job. Let me quit. <laughs> right? Uh, that's a t that's a tough one. Uh, that's yeah. a, a tough one. that would be a tough one for my parents for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I just I quit, went to another job. Nothing happened. I was unemployed actually for a little while. Tried to yeah. figure out what I wanted to do. Talk to someone that I know who was in real estate. And that's where everything started. And this, no, you don't know what you don't know. And that's the truth. Uh, someone had brought up real estate to me yeah. uh, about 10 years ago. And I'm like, nah, real estate, nah, I don't know. I mean, commission. I mean, I didn't, first of all, I didn't know how much money you can make in this business. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, commission only? Nah. And then funny thing, one of my first jobs here in LA was commission only. Yeah. Knocking on doors. Yeah. So. I learned little by little. I'm like, there's money here and the, yeah. you can do big things. Yeah. I had no job at the time. So I'm like, what else can I lose? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I went in and here I am now, like what year and a half later, almost two years later. Now, when, when your back's against the wall, that's, that's when you really shine, you know, and that's when you really like, I mean, for some people, they really step up, you know, when their backs against the wall, um, always, you know, and I always keep referring back to, you know, um, my boy Kobe, you know, and you know, <laughs> last second down to the last second, and you know, <laughs> you definitely want him to have the ball because that's when he shines the best. Of that's course. when he, he always comes through. So yeah, of course, Mike. And then I'm sure like everyone who's gonna watch this video uh, yeah. wants to know a little bit more about Mike. I know you're all about business and you you're great at, but what do you do for fun? Like one thing that you like doing? You know, uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of uh, silly. And, um, I, I actually, I text my uh, girlfriend. Um, uh, I find like quotes to text her every single day, really, <laughs> Monday through Friday. And, uh, so I, I always text her, uh, at least once a day, like a quote and I'd like wow. kind of just going through and, and just looking, reading different quotes and, uh, finding the, finding the best one. I mean, that's just a daily, like, you know, just kind of like, like a ritual. 
de- yeah, detox a little bit. That's but good. I don't think about real estate. I'm thinking about you know complete you know something else. And but uh, <laughs> snowboarding is definitely something I love to do. Uh, wow. that's, yeah, I actually I actually bought these new skates. So they're they're like roller skates for snow. What? No, I, I no, never, no. I've, I never yeah. been to the snow myself. I, I'm a cold, <laughs> oh so my I'm, I'm a I'm a hot weather kind of guy. So right now, oh, okay. it's not good for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cold right now. Uh, but the, these are like you don't you don't need the snowboard. You don't need the skis. Uh, they're just they just hook on to your boots, and you just go like roller skates. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I mean I, I didn't go because of COVID, but you know I'm excited to try because I just I just got it in the mail it took me like a month to get but wow. i'm excited to try that out so I, I really love um not like so much the the sport itself i mean you know i respect the sport but uh just being up in the mountains uh or in the water you know wherever you are uh just being out there in, in nature and just having um you know just nothing you know like you know just kind of clears your mind you know, yeah it's, it's nice yeah it's it just it's a whole different feeling um just re-energizes you just you know um i guess it's just having time to to yourself so just, yeah you're right i really like enjoy you know unless there's a lot of people then you know. I, I get it you know my girlfriend and i actually like doing we actually on the opposite side we go to the beach more yeah yeah oh no yeah yeah the beach is awesome too i I, I'm, I can't swim, so, but I love being in the water. I love jet skiing. Jet skiing is one of my wow. favorite things to do. That's awesome. Yeah. With the last best, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Mike, so that's one of the things that uh, I believe personally, you know, getting out of, I would say the city where we live, right? Yeah. Gets you grounded. Like we like the ocean, uh, we like hiking a lot. Yeah. It just clears your mind, right? And then you can, I guess you can recharge your batteries and go back to work 100%. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Go ahead. No, no. I, you know, I, I think um, uh, for for anybody that's starting real estate uh, or or they're in the middle or they're thinking about you know giving up on real estate, you know, it's it's really uh, provided a lot, you know, for me and and uh, for me and um, uh, personally um, and. I have to say, you know, really change, really changed my life, you know, a lot, and you know, given me a lot of opportunities to meet a lot of good people, but also really do what I really truly, uh, you know, and I'm I'm starting to find that out uh, as I every single year as I grow uh, personally. Um, you know, animals is one of the things that you know I I love. You know, uh, if you're on my page. You know, I'm not a vegan, but I'm I'm trending. I'm almost there. Yeah, almost there. I little, yeah, I still have a little bit of fish, but shame on me for doing that. But I still have a little bit of fish here and there. <laughs> that's that's me. I have meat. I have meat every now and then, but yeah, same thing. Trying to be yeah, vegan. Cut down, right? Yeah, trying to cut down. You know, and <laughs> yeah, but you know, I but I haven't had like any any dairy or or mammals. You know, and for I think it's been like six years. Wow, so it's been you know, a long time. Um, so I'm very proud of that change and, uh, but I, I, you know, um, I not, you know, it doesn't, the diet doesn't really matter to me. Right. But it was, it was mainly because of the environment and the, and the animals, but the more I think about it, the more I, I feel like happy, you know, doing it yeah. and my Instagram's filled with animals. Like when you, when you open my Instagram, it's all animals, <laughs> yeah. not, not a lot of real estate stuff. Damn. It's all animals. <laughs> Oh, which is, yeah. Uh, so, you know, real, real, uh, what I'm just, you know, what I'm trying to say is, you know, you're, you know, it's, it's afforded me a lot of, um, it's given me a lot of perspective, you know, in real estate, even though we're selling homes, but it's given me a lot of perspective and a lot of different things and really matured me very quickly, you know, uh, kick me down very fast. And then, you know, <laughs> and you really, you really mature fast. You know, like, all right. All right. Okay, guys, uh, I believe that's all. Um, Mike, I really appreciate you being here. Okay, Thank I know you. we took Thank maybe you. 20, 30 minutes. Um, so if you guys didn't know, Mike is also a real estate agent, one of the best real estate agents here <laughs> in the area. Uh, so am I, Adolfo here with Team BC. And if you have any questions about real estate, my email is right here. So you're going to go ahead and send me an email. Okay, thanks for everything.